Day one of a new Minecraft Prisoners Adventure has just begun. We're getting into it today and seeing how far we can progress in our first day. Welcome into a brand new season of Overpowered Prisons here on Minecraft. Yes, hello everybody and welcome back into a brand new episode of OP Prisons and a brand new season here on Akuma MC, the best, most overpowered and most insane Minecraft Prison server. Guys, welcome into this brand new season. I actually don't really know what to expect this season. So everything that I'm experiencing today is literally the first time I've experienced it, you know, on this fresh map. I've not made any progress. I've not touched anything. You guys are here with me for episode number one and a brand new fresh start. So if you guys are excited for this season, then please make sure you do go ahead. Hit that like button for me because I am super pumped to get into this one. And I've got a feeling that you guys will be as well. Now, just for fun, I've got a little bit of a challenge for you guys. Okay, wherever I get to or wherever I get to at the end of this video, I want you guys to see if you could get there in your first day as well. Let me know in the comment section if you do manage to get it. And I might pick a few prizes for those that do let me know. So yes, we're going to get straight into it today we're not going to waste any more time and we're going to of course because this is episode number one give away the top rank here on the server so stay tuned for more information about that so like i said this is pretty much going to be a full i mean just a full playthrough pretty much of this season so we are going to start exactly where everybody needs to start and we need to go to our mine i'm assuming as always we all get our own mine i'm assuming the the, the basics and the core you know haven't really changed here i i'm going to assume that we we know everything pretty much to a certain extent of where we're meant to be going now first things that i've already notice is that we do have a bunch of challenges and we can actually complete the first set of challenges literally just by doing slash help slash tutorial i don't think i'll need those i'm just going to do them just so that it gets the challenge done and out the way so if we now do challenges this is going to be where the whole list of like challenges or uh for for the season are going to be so we'll just complete that one we'll get our challenge reward and we'll be good to go because that is like the easiest set of challenges that i've ever done i'm pretty sure i did like two of them just by logging in so yeah, we are. We're good on those. And of course, the next lot of challenges are going to require me actually starting my uh, starting my adventure. But before we get into actually mining any blocks today, I want to see, you know, what kind of progress can we make without technically having to mine anything? So I want to go through all these traditional methods of getting started, including slash reclaim. We'll do all of our V kits. We'll do all of our like just whatever kits we have available to us. And I do need to vote on every link. So let me get my vote sent through. I actually have unclaimed votes, apparently. I don't know if that's effective to right now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put my votes through and we'll see. I've also got 39 wheel spins, apparently. I don't know if we can like do more than this at a time, but uh, I guess we'll do these now since it is the start of the season. I guess it makes sense to use them as and when we can. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know how we go about just like continually spinning these. Do we have to go in and out of that menu? I guess we do. All right, I'll just close out if it lets me and it does. So let me get all of these wheel spins done. I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't use these last season because it's actually super useful to have these right at the start of a season. Like you don't really need them for like at the end of a season or midway through or anything. So this is like the perfect time to have a load of wheel spins saved up from prior seasons. So just to know if you guys are, uh, you know, you are coming on, I guess you could do your wheel spins like as you get the votes in for the new season but it's also worth like saving up a whole bunch like throw from like the midway of the season all the way up so i would definitely recommend that let me get all these last ones done there we go we're officially done on the wheel spins and we actually have a bunch of tokens we have a bunch of skin fragments already that is a huge hugely awesome start uh, we've got some robot generators wow okay i wasn't wait we got akuma ranks from that that's pretty crazy that's actually pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We've got some chat color bundles there. We've got a pet egg. We'll open up these robot gens because uh, we'll get those applied as soon as possible. Uh, there we go. Get those earning. Then we got some vaults to open and good stuff as well. So we'll take that. Right. Let me get my actual votes done now for this season. So we need to go on those links and do that. Okay. Votes have been registered. We are officially good there. I'm assuming that we now have a bunch of vote keys in here. That is what my assumption is. We've got sovereign keys somehow. Yes. Vote keys. There we go. Get all those open. Nice. All right. We might as well get all of these vaults open as well. We've got a whole bunch of silver ones, a whole bunch of bronze, bronze ones. I haven't taken any rewards out of my like crate key filtering system yet. So we will pretty much get everything that we can. I'm not sure technically everything is going to be useful, but you know, it's, it's, I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really too worried about filtering things out right this second. We'll just get everything open that we can. So let's go to spawn. Let's get all of these like caches and stuff open. I think we only had a few of those. So that's good. Maybe I do need to start filtering out RPGs because uh, to be honest with you, even the common RPGs at this point don't really do anything. Okay, so I've got all my like random things in my inventory that I like want to keep with me and just to see what they're going to be like, like all of these grenades. I don't think they're going to be anything useful. Yeah, like my rank up doesn't even doesn't even go up with these things, which is kind of crazy, actually. Even being rank only 30, I would have expected that to do like a good... I don't know. I, I even know how much I would have expected, but a lot more than nothing. Okay, though, it isn't the end of the world. We're not really... We knew we were never really going to be using these to do anything. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. We'll just chuck them in. We'll let them do what they do, and then we'll call it on those ones. 
Cool. Um, let's take a look at the plasma torches, see if they're going to be any use to us. I'm going to assume probably not also. Uh, let's see. I mean, these ones actually these ones actually do something. My rank ups do actually go up with these. So maybe these are the best things for us to use right this second. They don't come with very many shots in them, though. So you can't uh, you can't get too much out of them. But, you know, we'll use them for as, uh, for as much as we can. We've already gained, like, what, five ranks just by using these. So honestly, not too bad. We should get a mine level up here in just a couple of ranks time as well. 38. Okay, we're not actually going to get there with those. That's fine. Now, airstrikes should be effective, I'm pretty sure, as well. I think these are, like, essentially, like, having the old grenades. Like, they actually do something, which is... Yeah, okay, these are super, super effective. So, these are what we want here. Let's get some more airstrikes placed down. Let's get these done, because this should give me a couple of mine upgrades for sure. I do wonder if I actually might be wasting them on this size of a mine, because they don't really seem to get much usage by the looks of it. Let's just see what it's like um because there we go there's one rank two rank. okay yeah wow okay that is huge i think it's every 20 mines it kind of messes up a little bit because it resets after we place it but that is huge okay cool so they are actually useful that's that's good to know we like to know that and now i do have some large ones as well but i feel like that would be a waste to place down right now so we're not going to do that but what we are going to do is we're going to take a look at the kits i have available because there might even be there used to be like a um, i don't know like a like a kit that you could claim i guess i actually got rid of it never mind there was there was like a kit that came with a whole wait kit luna maybe has some stuff in it yes it does okay that's actually really cool we're going to need that mystery vault we'll take that uh, pet candy we don't need right this second but we probably will oh some mythical mythical skin boxes from that is not a bad poll we'll take that and we'll just apply as many as we can here onto there there we go lovely now i guess we may as well claim any and all of the v kits that we have and it looks like there's actually a brand new v kit i don't think i've seen this one before the ascension v kit maybe that was actually at the end of last season i don't even know I wasn't, I wasn't paying too much attention at the end of last season. But let's claim all the ones that we can just so that we can see what we've got to open today and see what kind of progress we can make, you know, before we actually dive into mining. Okay, so these are all the openables I've got, which do include Mystery Vault V kits and V kit crates, which I believe we can actually get the like weekly crates out of as well. Let's get all of these robots applied because those were like clutch for us at the start of last season. I'm going to assume that it's going to be the same story there. Let's go to spawn to open everything else. We've got Mystery Vault bronzes. We've got the v kits like i said um let's just open up the bronzes quickly first get those nice and easily done there we go uh we're gonna get a lot of skin boxes and stuff that like i said uh, don't seem massively useful but actually will be let's open up these v kit ones we are gonna get I, I wasn't really paying attention to what we got out of those i don't think it was anything insane but it wasn't anything too bad that's also for sure let's open up all these relic caches these are great for like early tokens here these will be perfect for that um, I believe that's what we're using them for mainly anyway. Yes, it does indeed boost the tokens. Gives me a bunch of grenades. Like, we, we did mention that the grenades aren't massively beneficial right now, but you know what? Having them, I guess, is better than not having them. Open up the silver mystery vaults, and then we'll get into the V-Kit crates, which are basically like monthly crates, pretty much, or weekly crates, or whatever you want to call it. We will just open up all these skin boxes as well. We may as well get that done and just get all of these, uh, you know, all, all of these, what, what are they even called? Freaking fragments applied, because never know uh which skins we're going to be unlocking first i'm assuming it's probably going to be a lumberjack by the looks of how many we just got right there but you never know um all right let's get into these then which are the v kit crates these should be the best openable that we have today let's see what the jackpot item is going to be for us two pet eggs okay honestly we'll take that right this second it's not too offensive to me because <laughs> we, we 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 still need pets we'll take robots as well epic ones at that not a bad thing to have we'll take it um, what do we get from those things right there? I don't think we've got anything insane. Again, we'll put that down. There we go. All right, two more V kit crates, and then we will uh, we'll see where we're at, and we'll head off from there. Two more robot gens. We'll take them. Last V kit crate, and we are gonna get ourselves a two more robot generators. Okay, lots of robot generators coming out today, but I'm not complaining about that. Like having a passive income like that is huge for us, so we'll take it. Uh, I'm just going to open up everything that I possibly can while we're here, while we're at spawn and we're doing it. We may as well. Um, let's get these placed down and then I think we're going to be good. Oh, so let me place the grenades away. We kind of know we're not using those. We'll save up some skin boxes for a future time as well because I probably won't use them necessarily today. We'll save up the armor boxes because I'm not going to be diving into armor. The only thing that I might use today are these plasma torches, to be honest with you. So we'll store everything else away for right now. I guess we'll open up the pet eggs just to see if we can get a pet that's going to be like usable for us. But other than that, I think we're good on everything else. So let's uh, let's pull that away, put that away. Let's open up these pet eggs, see if we can get anything of the masterful tier. If we can, we'll just use that. It doesn't really matter what it is. 
and we don't wow we don't we really don't get anything good there um so with that in mind i guess we'll just use the um i don't even know i guess we'll use dragon's pick pet get my pick xp up as much as we can get it cool so this is our starting point for right now rank 48 we've not mined a single block we've actually got some uh some money to spend on some enchants here let's see what we can get we can already max out token miner obviously we're going to do that straight away get as many tokens in as possible jackhammer is obviously the slow grind gold mine we can max out already for 30 trill may as well We'll just max out anything that we can at this point, and then we'll work on everything else uh, as a slow kind of grind. There's only four levels of treasure finder. I'm sure there was 10 last season, so that's kind of interesting to know. Key finder, we can max out as well. Get that nice and done, nice and early. XP finder is something that we cannot max out because it's expensive. Um, token merchant, we can max out, but it would be virtually all of my tokens. So I don't know if I really want to do that. Fortune, we could max out. Again, it would be pretty much all of my tokens. So with all of this in mind and all the information in mind, I think we should do token merchant to try and replenish some tokens. That's my only theory. But at the same time, we kind of need Jackhammer at a high level. Um, let's get Jackhammer to 1k so that we don't have to worry too much about that. That's a decent level to have it at just for, just for now. And then I'll go the rest into token merchant, get as many tokens as we can today. So let's give these uh let's give these torches a go as well. Cause if they're as good as they were, then we can actually potentially get our rank ups massively up just by using these. So this will be very, very beneficial to get us a slightly bigger mine. There we go. That's just upgraded there. Um, yeah, if we can keep getting these bigger mines here, we're gonna be in a really nice place, uh, you know, just to just to use that jackhammer to the best of its ability. So let's get all of these used in, in whatever capacity I have it in right now. And uh, then we'll see where we sit. All right, looks like we're about to head into rank 100 without even mining a single block, which is actually super clutch. I've never, uh, I don't think I've ever been into that point before where we get to 100 without mining anything. We might fall just short by the looks of it, actually, with everything that I've got going on right now. Um, we'll have to see if we do or not. But uh, even if we do fall slightly short, it's not going to be the end of the world. Like the fact that we've gotten here without pretty much mining anything. Actually, we, we should get there, right? We'll get there. Yeah, we will. There we go. Ornament point one. Um, prestige boost, pickaxe boost. I'm going to go with pickaxe. Knowing how far behind I got last season with my pickaxe, it just seems like a no-brainer to get that going now. Like, as soon as possible. Like, early days. Get that thing going now, and we should be good. Um, let's use these fast last few bits of ammo. There we go. I officially have no more of those. They are all done with. I don't know if I have any of the lower tier ones hanging about, because I think I kept a few of them. I don't know if there'll be any use, though. Let's just try out the... Um, oh, we have these ones. Never mind. These are the good ones. Um, let's just try out the rare ones real quickly. Just see if they are... I don't think they're going to be effective. No, they're not. Okay. The regular ones aren't really effective. We'll trash those. Um, but what we will use are any any and all plasma torches. See how far we can get up here. About to get another new mine. There we go. We're getting we're getting up in these mine sizes right now. It's it's actually going pretty well. I'm kind of surprised that these have uh, that these are this effective at this point. Actually, huge for our progression. You know, having these uh, having these torches here and, and getting to use them. This is uh, this is a massive advantage to us, really. Don't think in like the past few seasons I've managed to work out that this is like a very viable strategy at the start of the season. But I guess now we're, we're working it out and we we kind of did it all in time so let me i guess open up all the keys which we've saved up from all the other open walls that we've done hope that maybe we can get a couple more of those other things which we don't um again these grenades absolutely poop i really don't think they're even yeah they're, they're not doing anything i don't even think this legendary one's going to do anything and it used to give you virtually a whole rank up that gave me like six percent which is actually kind of embarrassing so yeah the, the they're unfortunately going to be counted out i'm not going to be using any of these grenades that it, they are kind of useful cool. with all that in mind and all that out of the way it might be time to actually start mining our first blocks here we officially got mine splitter as our first unlocked pickaxe skin which actually isn't bad we'll take that and it is a gem type enchant now the only thing that i am worried about a little bit is that none of the enchants that we invested in just then were really anything to do with uh, like um, making prestiges and getting, you know, gems and stuff up, which is something which we do need to do. So with that in mind, let's add these 5,000 levels of uh, fortune here because that should do something towards that because obviously money is used for prestiges. So 
that in mind, I think it's time to mine our first blocks. I think we'll uh, we'll see how this goes out or go, goes how it... Wait, that's not even... I don't even know what I was trying to say there. See how this goes. But basically, we need to try and get our ranks up nice and early today because I want to set that challenge for you guys to uh, to beat me. Well, guys, while I do a little bit of mining, let me talk to you about the top rank and how I'm going to give one away to one of you lucky people watching this video right now. So the top rank on Akuma, of course, is the eternal rank. It's worth $300 in the store and it's what I'm giving away to one lucky person. Person today. Now, all you guys need to do to be in with a chance of winning this eternal rank is you need to make sure that you have liked this video. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to comment your username. You need to connect to the server using my IP, which is genazon.akumamc.net. If you're Bedrock, then don't worry. It will say that you connected on Bedrock and there's only one IP for Bedrock. Uh, if you're on Java, make sure you connect using genazon.akumamc.net and then join the giveaway only Discord link down in the description and press the enter button on the respective giveaway. You'll be able to see it. It will say that it's an eternal rank giveaway and all that good stuff. So that is how you enter that. Good luck. It will run for about a week now. So um, yes, make sure you get yourselves entered, get yourselves in because we'll be picking the winner for that, like I say, in about a week. And that is a $300 rank. Now, if you already have eternal rank, don't worry. I'm going to sort you out with a $150 gift card instead, okay? $150 gift card. So, yes, make sure you enter whether you've got eternal or not. You will have some value coming out of it. Now, having said that, I thought we were going to have an issue with, like, prestiges. We've actually already gotten a million prestiges, which is kind of more than I thought we were going to. I guess the first lot of prestiges, though, do come way faster. So, having that fortune, like, immediately has kind of helped us out. Now, what I do need to do is get all these pouches unlocked because these pouches actually give a absolute butt ton of tokens. Well, in comparison to the tokens that we're getting right now. And uh, that will allow me to upgrade those last few enchants that we were kind of not able to uh, not able to upgrade. So we'll get all these unlocked. So, yeah, you guys can see. I mean, that's already a crazy amount that we just got from those. And it looks like I don't know if they did last. Wait, maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. I didn't notice the pouches last season if they gave gems or not. But if they didn't, then that's kind of a cool new thing because I just noticed that I'm getting gems and tokens, which is huge uh, because both. Both of those things we desperately desperately need i don't know when we unlock our first okay we actually already have it multiplier finder is already there and unlockable so uh it could be something well lottery actually now that i'm looking at it we've got a lot of opportunity to get a lot of these enchants nice and quickly here lottery is only one level and it's cost 1 million We're already at 500k gems if i can get those gems up there to 1 million i'm gonna try and save for that now but if we can get them up there that's an easy, easy purchase of an enchant that can be insane. Actually, I think the, uh, like I said, the thing carrying the gems right now is actually the pouches as well. So if we can, yeah, if we can get enough out of our pouches to uh, to get that up there and get that to a million, that would be like insanely huge right now. So let's save up everything that we've got. Those early, early rank ups really helped us. And I guess if I really want to get some more rank ups, I could drop some of these down in the mine. Now, I don't know why, but I dropped one and it I feel like it used all three of those, which is unfortunate because I would have liked to have had those because those are easy rank ups. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. I don't know where those went. Either way, we do have a couple more which we can use. We've got some normal ones here. Let's drop another one in. Should be able to get ourselves, like I say, some easy rank ups from this. This is pretty huge for us, actually. Um, and hopefully it'll reset the mine. I don't think it will, actually. Yeah, it doesn't reset the mine. That's fine. But we're about to get to 150, which is huge. Like I say, the more pouches we get right now, the better. It's giving me a lot of gems, actually. A lot. That was 225k gems from that. I think two more pouches, and I'll probably be on my way to buying lottery. Do, of course, get a whole bunch of milestone rewards. Although, looking at, like, the values that it's saying in chat, I don't know if they're, like, massively, gonna, like, the, I don't know if they're going to be massive rewards that help us. I mean, these ones aren't too bad right here. A couple trillion definitely sat there in those rewards. Uh, we've got a couple billions sat in these ones. I feel like these ones should be more, maybe. Um, but we've also got some vaults and stuff looking uh, looking nice in there as well. we'll. Just claim everything that we can. We may as well get a nice boost here. Place down this last normal airstrike beacon. Get a couple more rank ups here. The closer we can get to that 160, the better, because that'll be when I get my next uh, my next pouch as well. But this one needs to be unlocked anyway, and we need to mine 3,000 blocks in total for that. So we're about halfway into that one. We do have a trillion or 100 trillion, sorry, of tokens to spend. So while we're sat here, let's just max out token merchant because we knew that that was one which we needed to go for. Um, I could put more into jackhammer. It would be beneficial. We could put more into fortune. We could put some into lucky. We actually have prestige finder already here. Um, I'm going to go into fortune right now just to get some more money. Hopefully that will help me with my prestiges. I actually don't. Well, actually, I assume that my auto prestige is on. I don't think that's something which we have to manually turn on. So um, yeah, hopefully those extra levels of fortune will get me a couple more gems here that we can hopefully get to uh, to unlock that gem enchant which we're looking for. So that'll be yeah. So the gem income from the prestiges isn't particularly amazing. 
thing you guys can see right here, we got 200k prestiges and we got 25k gems. Now, at this point in the season, it is probably the only time where this is actually going to make any kind of a dent. So I guess we got to use it while we've got it. Um, this last pouch that I've got here probably isn't going to give me enough to get the enchant in which I need. So we'll uh, we'll probably have to hit rank 160 minimum today and then work from there because those pouches, like I say, are coming in absolutely clutch. Unless, of course, uh, unless, of course, my robots have uh, have got me enough. Robots gem, I think, is the command because uh, those are grinding away. Okay, they're, they're nothing insane, but actually 4 million a day isn't bad at this point. So, yeah, those are grinding away. We'll let them uh, we'll let them chill as well. And, yeah, we, 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 just, we just need to get these last few rank ups and we'll be good. If we can get some more of those... Um, RPGs or plasma torches or whatever they're called, then that'll be clutch. Actually, now that I've said it, this last pouch should do it because if those prestiges that I just got got me up to basically a million gems. And then this should give me over 200k. And I think the enchant was what? 1.2 1.2 million? Yeah, 1.2 million. So we should just about be there as soon as I've unlocked this, which is in 500 blocks time. So that being said, let's uh, let's get those 500 blocks, uh, blocks grinded out and see where we are sat. Right, it is unlocked. Do we have enough? I believe we do. Let's go ahead and buy it right now. Lottery. Yes, we do. Let's get that added. That's actually huge to have that in our first day here. Like, well, pretty much within the first hour, actually. Um, and then multiply find is probably the next thing which we're interested in getting because that would actually, I mean, we do, we do actually have a decent amount of multiply, but I guess that would uh, increase the amount that the money is giving me in a, you know, towards prestigious. So I guess we'll just add whatever we can from that right now and uh, hope for the best there. Not bad at all. Um, we did get another pouch just now for hitting rank 160. So that's clutch. That should give me another like 300k gems, which we can put into other things as well. Not a bad little start at all. Let's just see if we've got any keys saved up from all the different enchants that we've got going off right now. Okay, we don't actually have a huge amount of keys. That's fine. To be honest, I'm just mad happy that we actually managed to get that lottery already. Like that is a, such an early point to get that enchant. And I think that it can really help us out. So yeah, that's uh, that's very nice to have. My tokens are actually coming in pretty thick and fast right now as well. Like I'm noticing that uh, like the trillion are coming in pretty quickly so anything that i can do to just you know up that a little bit more would be huge just gonna go ahead and add uh, 10 levels of lucky here as well because that is an enchant which can give me a whole bunch of keys and keys right now will probably give me some of the most valuable things in uh in regards to like those uh those rpgs and stuff like that like those are huge to us right now not even just because of them directly but because of the rank ups that we're getting and the pouches we're getting from them it's just yeah indirectly they are huge for us right now, now obviously one of the other things which is a constant through pretty much any season also that was a cool little proc right there from our uh from our mind splitter um one of the like constant things is that jackhammer of course at these early levels will give you so much like so many rank ups like you guys will see we're at 31 percent actually let me reset the mind so it's fully effective we're at like uh you'll, you'll see the percentage that it makes my rank up jump just when we get one jackhammer proc i'll keep mining until we get one here and you guys should be able to see obviously it depends on how many blocks are actually left on the layer but uh you guys should be able to see that rank up percentage jump up a little bit on these early ranks like especially obviously it's more effective um but it it does go so you guys saw it right there it jumped up like 30 40 percent of a whole rank up which is absolutely massive so Getting that, that to proc way more often right now would be one of my biggest priorities, I think. So when you know, whenever I get more tokens now, I'm pretty much just going to be pumping it straight into Jackhammer because the, the higher the level, the more often it procs and we could really do with those procs right now. So with that being said, we've got a pouch right there. It gives me a couple tokens. We'll just pump it straight into here. Get this up as much as we can right now. Gems wise, we can now probably max out this one. Yes, we can. And we can look at to whatever's next which will be shard collector, but that's not until pickaxe level 100. So actually, we're caught up on our on our gem enchants now. It's just tokens that we're focusing on. Let's, get, let's uh, go ahead and open up all these relic caches and stuff. We may as well get that going. I don't even know what booster I had. I, I, didn't, even, I didn't even know I had a booster. There we go. Um, let's see if we can get out of these. Uh, hopefully, I just want more of those up. Yes, this is what we need here. These, these are huge. Um, so we'll get those open. Let's just open up these skin boxes as well. Might as well. There we go all these in get as many level ups of those as i can lumberjack is now level one that's very cool we'll take that uh not using these grenades like i said so let's go back to the mine see if we can get maybe a rank up or two out of these uh plasma torches we'll have to see how effective they're going to be now that we're obviously at a high level yeah so then they're, they're nowhere near as effective as they were on those first few we were getting like rank ups absolutely everywhere but we're getting a couple at least and it's basically free like we're not really having to do anything for it so uh, we'll take it. So guys, I think that is where I'm going to go ahead and call it for day one. We've made some insane progress. We've got some insane enchants already on our pickaxe. And uh, yeah, it's literally just the first day. So we've got a lot more to explore and a lot more to look through. 
But for right now, that's where we're going to end it. So your challenge is to beat me rank 175 prestige, uh, 4.8 million. You should be able to beat the prestige pretty easily. Um, but yeah, rank. Well, now you've seen how I've done it. You should be able to beat that also. But guys, that is going to be it from me today. Hopefully you have enjoyed episode number one. Get excited for episode number two. Make sure you enter that giveaway for the top rank as well. Guys, that is going to be it from me today. Hopefully you have enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next episode of OP Prisons here on Akuma MC.